Hi guys, I'm Megumi Expert and I'm here with Eric. And Eric is actually the voice actor for Jax and Draven. So Eric, uh, how did you get into this? Uh, I had a mentor. Uh, I was also in video games doing testing and stuff. And then I uh, started doing voices sitting in a cubicle and producers would hear me. They said, well, maybe we should get you into the booth to try some stuff out. And uh, that's how I got going. And then I signed with an agency and just kept doing it more and more and more. So. so I have a question. So, at, you know, growing up, did you kind of have this very imaginatory, like, did, did imagine all these things and I don't even know what I'm trying to say because I'm yeah, kind of like very I, happy around you. I, but <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, <laughs> you know, like as a kid, did you kind of play different roles and, you know? Yeah, I had, um, I had Hot Wheels uh -huh. and each one of them had a different driver. So they all sounded different. So each one had a different voice. And that's, that's kind of how I actually started. At the time, I didn't realize that that's what it was going to become, but that's what I started doing, yeah. So every time you'd like play and you'd always have that. Yeah, okay. The, you know, the big guys, are, here, 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 I drive over here, I do that, you know, so it, each guy had a little character and a little voice for him, so. No, that's pretty cool, because I always wondered, you know, sometimes I, like, I stream myself, and sometimes I try to read different voices and be the narrator versus this character and vice right. versa, but I can't quite get my voice that deep, so how do you get that really hearty, deep voice? It comes all the way from your diaphragm. Yeah, it does come from the diaphragm. You have to, um... Voiceover can be kind of an ugly business because <laughs> you get in the booth and you just like fill up your belly and you're full of air there and you just slowly push it out. And the less you use sometimes, the lower you can get. See that? The lower you can get. Mine's not that low. <laughs> so right set up, you'd be fine. So how high can you make your voice? See, we're on different ends of the spectrum. So my so extreme, to yeah, you? yeah. So how would you impersonate me? I don't really know. I would try to go up here somewhere, but that doesn't really sound close to you yet. Is that the highest you can go then? Um, up here? Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So have you ever thought of maybe doing a female voice that has a more raspy voice? Uh, I've thought about it. <laughs> I, I don't think I'd ever get hired to do it. Um, but I have done a few, you know, oh, hello, you know, and then you can, you can do like a slight pitch with it, with the equipment on the software. You can do a slight pitch and then it sounds a little closer to a female, yeah. Yeah, because I can imagine you can be like a very seductive, sultry woman, you know, oh, well, that has that. Kathleen Turner or something, yeah, Kathleen Turner, yeah, absolutely, just like, all right, where are we going? See, and the look. So maybe you need to like move on. Right, I'm working on blue steel, you know, the, <laughs> something, I don't know. The beard gets in the way, though. So, um, have you ever worked with any anime, for example, or any manga? Uh, the only anime thing I've ever done was um, I played Toppy Toplin in Sands of Destruction, the, the video game, for the U.S. version for Sega. And that's the only time I've gotten to do any of the characters, so that's it, yeah. I was just wondering, because I'm a big um, anime fan, or, and I read a lot of manga like Naruto and One Piece, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but I can really imagine you being like kind of the end boss. The final, final boss. Not that like the little bosses that lead up to, like you know, it's like the final big boss. Right. So if you can have like any name that would be the big final boss, who would you be, and what kind of voice would he be? Oh man, I love Draven so much that I can't think of another name. Uh, Chogoth. No, uh, <laughs> I, I have no idea what his name would be, uh, but he would sound a little more like. <laughs> Welcome to your doom. Something to that if I had hair on my arms, they would be standing up. <laughs> Let me just say that, because I got chills down my spine. That was a really good one. So, um, you know, just for those who are aspiring to be like you, maybe they would write to, like, maybe thank you cards or just fan mail or anything like Twitter. Do you have something like that where uh, they can reach you? I have a YouTube, and that also has a link to a, a Facebook fan page and stuff. Uh, the YouTube is youtube.com slash Mota Jones, M-O-T-A-J-O-N-E-S. And you can find all the, my videos and reels and stuff there. And there's links to, I think, a Twitter and a Facebook fan page. All right. So thank you very much. It was really nice meeting you. And you. It was nice meeting you. I, would lo I can't do it. You can do it in a world. In a world. That's it. Yes. <laughs> very nice meeting you. Thank nice you. Meeting.